Okay, so what we'll go over today is Luna. Have a look at some price targets to the upside and to the downside because it's been going absolutely bananas, um, not only recently, but really since the start of um, that May crash um, and even December, it's pretty much doubled in price this month. So if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like down below. Uh, drop me a comment with where you think it's headed in the short term, long term. Um, let's get straight into it. So. Um, Let's just have a look uh, and remind ourselves where we've actually come from. From the lows in May, we've actually made two and a half thousand percent move. Hard to imagine that Luna was only three point uh, nine dollars back uh, in May. Um, that's absolutely a massive parabolic move. Congratulations to all of the Luna holders. So, um, in the shorter term, what we've got. Um, as we've we've obviously made we, we we created this basing pattern, um, made this massive move up, and essentially we've been channeling up. So we always want to create market structure first, okay? And then what are we seeing, okay? Um, so far we've been channeling up, and we've been attempting at least to break out of this channel to the upside. Now channels to the upside are very very risky. Um, at taking long positions, at the time to go long, in my opinion, would have been really obviously somewhere back here if you are buying back in the May crash or any of these um, dips over here. You never want to go long uh, after eight to nine green days in a row and after 100% doubling and move and especially when market cap for Luna is actually pushing up into that top 10. So it's going to take a little bit more money every time to start moving the market cap up um, and a little bit more effort. Okay, um, And when you tend to take... Um, we, we, when you tend to break out of um, ascending channels, okay, because if you look at the nature of the geometry of what you're seeing, okay, um, you actually have to create a lot, a lot of momentum to break out of an upward sloping, um, you know, structure. Um, so it's it, this is why these moves tend to be so, so, so parabolic. So, um, you know, like it's it's a lot easier. To, to break out of these sort of structures over here, okay, uh, like falling wedges kind of patterns because you're basically creating lower highs, okay, and over here you're basically breaking much bigger higher highs. So you gotta think it takes a lot more energy for the market, especially at a later point in time with higher market cap to start moving some of these coins um, massively to the upside. So that's the first thing to look at in terms of like overall market structure and where we are now. Time to go long, in my opinion, has passed. What I'd be looking at doing is taking profits in and around this level. So this in and itself, okay, if we actually have a look at what's happening on the daily, because that's really what is showing us the most, I think, um, clues about what's going to happen next. We've got this big move up, which coincidentally is about a one-to-one -one move of this move, okay? And we hit that pretty much to the T, okay? Um, and I think that we are definitely due for at least a sideways movement or a correction to the downside. So we've got this massive move up here, and we've got this big wick up here where we reach $97, nearly $100, um, and then we push back down into this, into, this, uh, into this trend line over here. Be very careful about this candle over here. It looks like it's breaking out at the moment. This looks a little bit like an automatic rally, which I'll show you in a moment, okay? Because if this ends up coming down here and closing in this 85 to 88 region dollar by the end of the day, because this is what Luna was looking like yesterday, bear in mind, okay, this starts to create a tweezer top. So we want to wait for this and see what this kind of structure is showing us okay, before we start to um, assume uh, maybe any more sellers are stepping in or if you even want to take this to the short side, although you have to be very careful of these parabolic moves because they can end up going and overshooting to targets which are just like way beyond and it's not worth it by them because remember you lose more money when you go short and you start making losses, okay, because you're, you're, if the price doubles, okay, um, in of, of, of Luna, you basically wiped out a short position and that's basically with no leverage so just bear that in mind okay so we want to see how this daily closes today if we close down here that gives us an indication if we look at the volume okay we're actually getting if i dive this down to the 12 hour a little bit more you can see this a bit more so we came out here and we've got this big selling candle and we've got heavy selling volume okay unsurprisingly people are going to be taking profits around this area so we've got here and we don't have quite at the minute on this move back up here any volume to match this sell side volume okay so that's something to be aware of okay 
Um, doesn't mean that it can't go higher, but that is something that you want to be giving you clues about what's going to happen to the market. Okay. Um, now, if we dial in a little bit shorter, can we see anything at the minute? Okay. Um, now, I do believe that this, because I checked this uh, not so long ago, we're about the uh, 618 level. Okay. And typically, if you have a look in time and you find quick automatic rallies from um, prior moves down, you do tend to find with a lot of coins that you get this reaction at the 0.618, which is the golden pocket for the upside and the downside. Um, so maybe we get a reversal at some point over here. We've got some horizontal resistance, very slow, very slight horizontal resistance on the on the hourly. And you can see here that it's basically starting to slow down this move over here. So let's see, like I said, we need to wait until the end of the day or um, a day or two basically to see how this is how this is going to start to form and give us clues about the next general direction of the market okay so if we are to move down from here which i think would be totally healthy totally normal um is what you want to see the more parabolic a move goes up the, the harsher it's going to come back down okay is we want to be looking for key areas of uh support resistance so if we go back onto that daily are there any areas that we can find out uh, and see, um, you know, so let's have a look at this area. This $75 region looks like a pretty good area. It's our prior top, okay? And if we go into the 12 hour, we can see some wicks here. And if we go down again, this is how you want to do it. Remember, you always want to start higher time frame in, then start zooming in, okay? And now we can start seeing some clarity. Okay, we've had multiple touch points and reaction points here. So maybe we can swing this down to the bottom of the range, should this be the top, okay? and look for these key areas. You always want to look for the most obvious zones and regions, okay? You never want to pick specific price points like $72 or $84. It's usually always ballpark, okay? Um, and that's how I'd be looking at this, okay? Now, should we fall below this level if we go down, okay? Then obviously the next zone that we'd be looking at, in my opinion, would be $55, $60, maybe even $50. Uh, $50 if we reach that far, but somewhere in this zone, maybe create this some kind of higher low if we were to drop down this far. A 22, 23% correction would be completely normal for Luna, especially given the ma the massive rally that we've had in the last uh, uh, in the last month or so. Okay, um, and nothing out of the ordinary. These are 30% corrections. You know, it does this just on a routine. Just 30% corrections are par for the course for especially a lot of these volatile coins. So watch out for these key levels, okay? Um, should we move to the downside? It's really that $60, $65, $55 range, somewhere in, a, in this range over here. And this $75 especially would be the first port of call for me if you're looking to go long on Luna or if you're looking to take any shorts, okay? Obviously, this does depend on the broader market, very likely so, because it depends what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin completely shits the bed, then that opens the door for 75, no problem, right? If Bitcoin keeps going on a tear, then you know I'd still expect Luna to maybe go sideways or take a bit of a pause or a bit of a backseat. Maybe we can still grind down, but it does depend on what the, what the market does as a whole. But Luna has been doing pretty much the opposite um, of uh, the downtrending crypto market in the last uh, in the last month uh, or so. So that's basically the targets that we want to look out for. See how this daily plays out here. If we close anywhere uh, in 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 this trend line over here, that's gives us indication. Okay, maybe we're set for a for a move down. We've exhausted this move up here. Can't quite break up of an as out of this ascending channel. Kind of faked out here a little bit yesterday. Um, but uh, that's essentially the main main targets we'd be looking out for. We spoke about these sort of targets on our previous coins like AVAX, which we actually nailed. If you go back to my previous video and you have a look at what I said about AVAX, um, literally we hit the targets to the T. And we said, do not go long here. You should be looking for either, if you're looking to go short, obviously be quite conservative, Be just be aware that parabolic moves can extend quite high to the upside. But uh, for downside targets, we were looking at $100, $75, absolutely nailed it okay so i'll be looking for something similar here on luna you know essentially what people are doing is they're going to be rotating out of one coin into the other when you've made these massive gains i think look at this since september really since october we've made like you know 4x on luna okay which is absolutely massive so um that's how i would be looking at luna uh longs is risk off 
um, just wait and see if uh, if you're um, you know for 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 for, for, the, for those key levels. Um, and if we actually have a look at the weekly RSI as well, which I thought was quite interesting, is we're essentially we're just oscillating up and down, up and down here, okay. Um, and we're up in this sort of overbought 80, uh, 80, 80 uh, RSI region over here. But even if you look at some of these slight down downs, okay, on, on, on the red weeks, okay, we still managed to get, you know, 20% corrections or even more on some of these weeks where we've had, um, you know, uh, red weeks, which would be completely plausible to take us down to these uh, slightly lower levels. You look at this one, 25% correction. So really, Nothing out of the ordinary, okay, should we get this uh, th this red week, but I would expect this to start cooling off um, in, uh, in, in in the next week or two and money to probably start rotating into other coins, okay? So that's how I'll be looking at, looking at Luna. Um, upside targets, if you are still in Luna and you want to hold, you want to be quite brave, if I was here, I'd be definitely taking profit here, but I'd say you're looking at upside targets of about um, one oh five dollars and one one six dollars. Anything after that uh, is, uh, is is anyone's game, but they're really the main targets to be to be to be to be looking out for. But expect a pullback in Luna. Um, only up is a very dangerous way to think. So um, if you're a long-term holder, just be holding. You're completely fine, um, and you don't care what's happening in the next year or two. It's just uh, nice swings in your portfolio. If you're a swing trader or you're looking to trade this, look out for those key levels um, and um, see how those uh, end up playing out. Cool. So um, until the next one, peace out. If you like the video, don't forget to drop me a like down below. I'll catch you in the next one.